So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So today marks the one year anniversary since the world lost. Former three time heavyweight champion of the world and global icon in the sport of boxing, Muhammad Ali. He passed away last year at the age of 74 years old. And a lot of people have been showing a lot of respect and this guy deserves the most respect because this guy changed the sport of boxing. This guy took boxing into a different light. He stood for a lot of things inside and outside of the ring and inspired a lot of people inside and outside of the ring. Uh, this guy was a hero to many people, to fighters, to people who are not fighters, people who just do everyday jobs and stuff like that. Like Muhammad Ali was probably one of the most recognisable people on the planet and I see a lot of people showing respect people saying that he's the greatest fighter to ever live and then you're getting people saying he's not the greatest fighter to ever live like it's sparking a lot of debate and stuff like that at the end of the day if people want to say Muhammad Ali is the greatest fighter to ever live that's their opinion and if people want to say he's not well that's their opinion it's always going to be debatable on who's the greatest fighter to ever live and stuff like that but today it's not about who's the greatest fighter and stuff like that today is just to show respect to a guy who really changed a lot of people's lives the people who were inspired by him and just people who looked up to him in and outside of the ring so the sport of boxing is always going to be debatable on who's the greatest fighter to ever live if you think Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Robinson or Marvin Hagler or Sugar Ray Leonard, Rocky Marciano, if you think these guys are the greatest fighters to ever live then that's your opinion at the end of the day, that's the good thing about boxing, it's always been debatable and people can have discussions and we can talk about it and people can put their point of view across and stuff like that and at the end of the day people just gotta keep it respectful because this guy was a hero to many people and if these people think he's the greatest fighter to ever live just respect that just say you know what that's your opinion and i respect it don't be going online trashing the guy and stuff like that because you don't believe he's the greatest fighter to ever live at the end of the day the guy inspired a lot of people and i know i keep saying that but he did so if people are gonna say it then let him say it i'm a boxing fan at the end of the day and in my opinion I haven't got one favourite fighter who I think is the greatest fighter to ever live. Like, there's been so many styles over the years, so many different fighters who have done great things. I'm a boxing fan. But if people look at Muhammad Ali and say he's the greatest, then that's their opinion. Everyone's got an opinion. Opinions are like all souls. Everybody's got one. So, yeah, just be respectful and just remember that it is the day that he passed away and stuff like that. And there's no need to be getting onto petty arguments online and stuff because... At the end of the day, it's just stupid really, isn't it? So, yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's just